The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, 10 persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing that he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, 10 were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Happy Thanksgiving to you here gathered, to those joining by live stream. It is a privilege to be with you and such a blessing to have the opportunity to gather around the Lord's altar to see this morning if we are allowed in faith the healing that God brings to us. What Christ offers you and me today as he offered to the 10 suffering from leprosy, a disease that isolated them from others, a reality that made so they were not able to interact regularly. Just recently being in quarantine myself, I had to go back and forth uh, from the office and, and the rectory without being with other people. And I jokingly said to Father Toby one day, I said, I'm going to be coming this afternoon after, uh, after 5 o'clock, uh, and I'll be in the kitchen, and I'm going to be over in my apartment, but I have some things I have to do, so I'll be around. He said, okay. Well, then I was delayed, and, and I opened the door, and I heard him. I said, I have a bell, unclean, you know, like the lepers would have to wear a bell. There's a sense of it that seems so foreign, but then really to us today, I think we can resonate with the fact of what the reality is of having elements uh, physically, a viral reality that is, is not controllable in many ways, but can be assisted in many ways to not have the effect. Christ offers healing to all ten. All ten are made whole, and one returns to give thanks. I think this gospel today invites us to any number of questions, but I'd like to reflect on two. One is our sense of gratitude for what we have been given, what we have in ability, what we have in achievement, what we have in limitation or setbacks whatever is ours in life, that we truly recognize that it is ours by God's grace. And even the challenges and setbacks of our lives become opportunities to bring Christ's presence through our actions, through our response. Is not Christ present even in the darkest moments if we bring his light? 
Does God not will that all be saved? So that our actions in response to our own gift of redemption are given to others through our action. St. Paul would say, freely given, freely give. St. Paul would also recognize that it's hard enough to care for someone who's good, but to really care for someone who's still missing the mark. And that's precisely what Jesus did, right? For you and for me. Though we are still sinners, he comes to us. He offers healing and redemption. Are we grateful? If you're hearing this message, the guess is you are. <laughs> Your presence right now, through God's grace, brings you to this altar in a sense of gratitude for what you've been given. Praise God. May God strengthen in us, renew in us, preserve in us this sense of gratitude, for it is akin to his very spirit. Secondly, for reflection, can others be grateful for us? I did not say, should others be grateful to us? <laughs> Can others be grateful for us? Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, the likeness of men, experiencing death, even death on a cross. We can be grateful to Christ. Let us pray for the grace to see our thoughts, words, and actions as the God-given chance to share in that action of selfless love. Let us pray for the grace this day to live in such a way that our life might be something others might be grateful for. That we would live in such a way that others would see the good that we do and give glory to God who allows it within each of us and indeed desires it. May God bless you and your families, our parish community, our city, our state, our country, on this day of thanksgiving that we mark as a holiday that today we claim through this Mass a holy day to acknowledge all that God has given us that we might shine brightly to all we meet to the glory of God the Father.